Hello, 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 wonderful scrapbookers. It's Lauren here, and I am here today to share with you a layout as part of my commitment to the Hip Kit Club design team, and it's a recipe challenge today. Now, the recipe, it has a few things on the list. The recipe has stamping, punches, mixed media, stitching, two or three photos, and this one where I went boom, boom, white cardstock background. Now... For most of you know that I love white cardstock backgrounds, especially when mixed media is involved, but I have run out. <laughs> so I had to use my creativity and try and come up with a solution. So I thought I would get some of my white Liquitex gesso and sort of blur out this background a little bit just to give a whitish background effect to try and tick that recipe off. Now... As you can see, you can still see a lot of the background, but I want you to bear with me because I know that if this layout inspires you and you want to tick all those boxes off on the recipe, I know that this layout will look absolutely wonderful on a white cardstock background as well. So if you haven't got a cup or I want you to go and get one because this video is 16 minutes long and unfortunately when you're dealing with mixed media and Lauren these videos where I'm doing mix, heavy mixed media work or time-consuming mixed media work always end up to be long ones. So feel free to skip through or go and get a cuppa and you can listen to me ramble and chat as you see, as uh, ramble and chat, as you watch me put this layout together. Now I have used quite a an assortment of mixed media products. I've used some stamps. I've used some Lindy Stamp Gang powders and all these products are from the Hip Kit Club kits. Now the stamps that I'm using there now are from the June kit and the stamp that you see that was really sloshy and wet there that I put on there, that is from the stamp market and that was from May's kits. And then I'm using two of the Lindy Stamp Gang powders. One's called Jana's Jade and one's called... Uh, afternoon denim delight and they were old school hip kit club products so if you're a long-term hip kit club chicky then dig back in your stash and those colors are in there if you're wanting to create a layout with an effect like I'm creating now or just go to your stash and pull out some blues that's all that's all that I was after so I thought I'd create with these beautiful papers that came in the June kits, which are full of some exclusives from some stamp market and also some of the Pink Fresh Studio new Let's Stay at Home collection. So I thought I'd have a little bit of a play with some rainbow effect to document, document my little girl's Snapchat shenanigans. <laughs> She's absolutely adorable. And when I found these photos on my phone, I had a giggle and thought, I'm going to scrapbook these and put them on a on a little plastic frame and she can have that in her bedroom to have a bit of a giggle at so here I am, I've, I've gessoed my page and now I'm simply using the stamps, the inks on those stamps and soon you'll see me use those um, Lindy Stamp Gang powders and the beautiful thing about those inks are they are reactive so if you stamp them down you can put a bit of water with them and you can swirl them around and get a bit of a different effect. Now I've always liked to do layering and one way that I get some of those layers in that color is drying off as I go or drying off one layer and then applying more product over the top and that sort of creates depth in my mixed media elements so if you're seeing wondering why I'm doing what I'm doing now and having a heat gun and a paintbrush in my hand at the one time that's why because I'm just trying to speed up that layering process but to get that really nice blended layered effect with my colors there and as you can see it's starting to blend really well and you can see that I've transitioned from the pinks to the oranges and now I'm doing the yellow section and now I'm moving on to the blues. Now the reason why I decided to do, not do all the colors at the one time I didn't want to make a big blendy mess and I know that when you add your yellow and your blue together you'll get green and I really wanted that blue to pop and have a section of its own because there's a lot of blue embellishments that I selected for this layout. So that's why I'm going to I've done it 
two sections of drying off and two sections of color because I didn't real I didn't want those blues to blend in with those lighter colors. So that's another reason why this one this video is taking a little bit of time because I've I'm doing it in stages. I love those Lindy Stamp Gang powders because you can really get some different depth in your pigment using the powders if you add more pigment you get darker colors if you add less and add more water you get lighter colors it's a really lovely product to use and it's a lot of fun even though it's a little bit fiddly with the powders I do encourage I do encourage you if you haven't played with the powders before to um, give them a go because they're lots of fun so as you can see I've got it getting a bit of a rainbow effect I'm just drying off the back because sometimes I find that when I dry off the back it really flattens my page out again so it's when you're using a lot of product your page sometimes tends to curl so by drying off the back I can sort of um, sort of counteract that drying I mean yeah that drying and then my page curls back the other way so one of the elements in the recipe is stitching so I thought I'd add some little stitches across these gorgeous little tag ephemera tags these are hip kit club exclusive tags and they were designed by the beautiful Kim Watson to coordinate perfectly with the June kits and just adding that little bit of stitching along those tags just adds that little bit of detail and of course there it is ticks off the challenge challenge recipe for the challenge anyway so there you go so just checking my page now now I'm going to start thinking about building my clusters now this is the fun part this is the part well, well mixed media is fun too but when you can when you start thinking about photos you start thinking oh my goodness this layout's coming together and I really had a bit of a clear idea with this sort of rainbow effect going down the page so I was really sort of excited to pull those color themes out to give it a go now if you've not created a layout like this and your mojo is you know off having a holiday somewhere I want you to give this idea a go because this is a really easy way to make a fun layout you can use mixed media or not but um, pull out if your mojo's gone get some photos like this three photos pull out three colors out of ephemera and then run them down the sections so sort of overlapping a few as you go just to help blend the colors together but just stick with those color themes in those sections and I guarantee you you'll have a fun layout that will come together the reason why I'm popping a little bit of green down in that bottom corner is because one of those boxes that are, is on the pattern paper um, is green down the bottom and I thought if I just add that little bit of green down there it'll help tie in that that base page but if you're sticking to the challenge you won't have this problem because you'll have white cardstock <laughs> that <laughs> anyway I can't even I can't believe that I ran out of white cardstock but I did so I have contacted my gorgeous friend Natalie from love to create um, and she's my Aussie stockist of, of all my goodies and she is hot on the trail of getting me a new big pack of white cardstock for me to use so that'll be handy so here I am I'm not going to waste those tags I'm going to cut them in half and pop one top one bit out the bottom and one bit up the top there making sure that I'm not covering over my stitching because that's a lot of effort to get your sewing machine out don't want to waste all that effort and I've also used a bit of foam mounting tape behind the photos just to get the photos to pop off the page and once again adding a bit of dimension between the mixed media background my embellishments and the photos because I didn't this this layout is embellishment heavy and I really didn't want to lose the photos in, in all these beautiful embellishments so here I am I'm using the pattern paper background and it's the those lines to guide the center of the page so just sort of higgledy piggledy like just putting them down but making sure that I'm sticking in my thirds in my quadrants there just so it's in the center and that's what I was thinking about when I was applying my mixed media as well so I've got my trusty nouveau glue and I'm just gluing down which is a nice easy way forgiving way to add your embellishments because you've got a little bit of time up your sleeve before they start to stick so you can wiggle them around a bit and change them up if need be that beautiful nouveau glue has a nice fine tip on it so it's perfect for those little embellishments 
Um, and it's also really handy for those larger ones as well. So it's a, a favorite glue of mine and it dries clear. So when you're adding things like sequins and beads to layouts, you can put a big blob of that on there, pile on some beads and sequins, and you know that although it's white when it initially comes out, it dries nice and clear so your embellishments don't stand out and look lovely. So playing with the tags, as you can see that I've put a, tried to put a tag on each of the photos and then a tag on either side. Balancing out your layouts is something that is a good tip to do. Trying to look at your layout as a whole and balancing each side and at occasionally the centres of the layout just so it sort of blends and and um, sort of comes together as one, if, if that makes sense. So as you can see, I've got a tag on each side. I've also put a house on each side. I'm mindful of my um, titles because these are little titles. I want to balance those out again. So once again, I've got one on one side of the page, another on this, another, and one in the center there just to tie it all in together I've got one I'm doing a diagonal here with the the tags and one's at the bottom one's on the opposite top and so if you can kind of see that the art to scrapbooking like this is really trying to balance out your page and not have one side too heavy with embellishments and another side with hardly any embellishments so have a think about that if you're looking for some tips for your scrapbooking pages now these gorgeous enamel dots this color palette I feel very oh I feel very frivolous I think frivolous is a good word when I'm using so many enamel dots but I just had to because it was sort of mixed media and splatty and these colors were perfect and these um, enamel dots are from Pink Fresh Studios Let's Stay at Home collection and they were perfect for what I wanted to do here adding those embellishments in those same color tones um, to create that really lovely rainbow effect. Um, I couldn't help it. I've also got these lovely, lovely wooden, well, they're not wooden, sorry, they're chipboard adhesive flares. So they're flat. They're not um, risen up like a traditional flare. They're nice and flat. I really struggle with circles, but I'm, lately I've been trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and use circles. So just by tucking them here and there, I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable with circles and what it's also doing by peeking out the sides of the photos it's sort of connecting each of the photos together and helping once again that color transition to blend across there um, if that all really makes sense. So here I am, I'm just finishing off. Whilst I'm at this stage, I'm also thinking about my journaling and what I want to write. This was my little girl. We were just hanging out at the basketball stadium. She was waiting for a big brother to finish basketball. And she just loves hanging out there. When I say, Katie, do you want to come pick up Jackson from basketball? She's in the car in two seconds. And if she's not got a basketball in her hand, she's brought the dog along as she has here. And she's just laying around the stadium up on the up on the stairs is really feeling comfortable with that space which is her space as well because she plays basketball but it's lovely um, it's a lovely thing and I, I feel that in years to come she will probably feel like that stadium is a bit of a second home like it has been for her big brother there. So here I am, these gorgeous little puffy alphabets are absolutely perfect for um, once again this rainbow kind of colour themed layout because you've got so many letters in each of the colours that you can really um, pick out your words. They're really a gorgeous thin font so once again it doesn't take over the layout but you're really getting those um, key messages across in um, in your journaling, well helping your journaling, helping your titles and ultimately sort of bringing this layout together. So what I've written here is Snapchat, fun and love, all in those tiny little um, sections there and a kiss and a cuddle down the bottom there just to tie those tie those colours in together. So if you have not heard of the Hip Kit Club, please check out the description below. There's a link there. Go and check it out. It's a super fun monthly scrapbooking kit subscription company. It's beautiful. We have a great Facebook group that links below as well. Everyone in the group loves to share their projects, all the different subscribers and um 
It's a really positive, lovely environment. So come on over, check it out. You can be a part of the group even if you can't, um, if you're not subscribing to the kits. But um, you can come along and just be a part of all the fun. There's weekly challenges over there where you can win some prizes and it is just a lovely space to be in. So here I am ticking off one of the last things in the recipe challenge, which is some stamping. And these stamps, this tiny little heart comes from an exclusive stamp set in the June, June kits. I love the Hip Kit Club exclusive stamps and I'm so glad that recently they have created an add-on stamp stamp kit that you can add on to your um kit subscription if you want to and they're just delightful look at this tiny little heart it looks like by put sprinkling it around in the right colored inks it looks like a little bit of confetti flying everywhere and really helps that transition from that big cluster of all those photos into that white background there white I'll say white just so I feel like I've ticked off all the recipe items <laughs> adding some journaling with a really super fine pen that I love it's like a point one and I love to just journal and then just draw some lines there to finish it off and my layout's complete so I hope this layout has inspired you to give this recipe challenge a go and I hope that it's also inspired you to have some fun with mixed media and maybe a bit of a rainbow theme with your embellishments so happy scrapping, guys. Take care. Bye.